Hi friends, this is Achal and I am here once again to discuss some roots of words. Now today the first word is wince, V-I-N-C-E which means to conquer something. The first vocabulary related to wince is convince. Now convince means to persuade someone to, to perform something or to do some work. Now here in this picture you can see a boy who is convincing someone to perform a task. So here convince means to persuade someone. The next vocabulary is invincible. Invincible means someone who cannot be conquered or someone who cannot be defeated. That is invincible and for example you can see a movie, a shot from the movie Deadpool where Superman cannot be defeated by his enemies. The next root word that we have today is pan. Pan means all. If we talk about all or if we talk about pan, the first vocabulary is panorama. It's a very amazing feature in your cell phones as well. Panorama means a wide angle view of something. Now here in this picture you can see some mountains and a lake which is captured in one single image. So panorama means when you want to capture a bigger image in one single image that is where we define panorama. The next word is panacea and panacea means a cure for all with something which can cure everything that is panacea. And for example you can see an image where some people are exercising. Now, in my opinion, exercise is something which can be a cure for everything, right? If we walk, many of the diseases can be vanished, right? Moving further, we have the next word and it is FID, F-I-D. F-I-D or FID means FID. If we talk about the first vocabulary that is related to FID, it is confide. Confide means to place trust in someone. For example, if we place trust in God, that is confide. In this image, you can see some boys are lying on bowling alley and one of their friend is bowling. Now here, they have a risk of getting their head hurt, but they have trust in their friend that his, uh, their friend won't hurt them. That is where you define confide to place trust in someone. The next word that we have is fidelity. Fidelity means showing faithfulness to someone or some belief. Now here in this image you can see a boy hanging from the terrace of a building which has full faith in his friend that he won't let him go. Now the next word is mal, M-A-L and it says something bad. In the previous video we learnt about odour and odour means smell. If we combine mal and odour it says malodour. And if we talk about the word malodorous, it says something which gives extremely bad smell. So mal, bad, odor means bad smell. That is where malodorous defines itself. Now here in this image, you can see a cat which is smelling something and it's so bad, it gives such a bad, extremely bad smell that it is about to puke. Now the second word related to mal is malevolent and malevolent means having Evil feelings, having ill feelings, wishing ill for others, wishing evil for others. When you don't hold good feelings for someone, that is where you define malevolent. Now here you can see a witch and a witch never thinks good for someone. So malevolent behavior can be related to a witch. The last root word for today is soul, S-O-L, which means alone. Desolate means someone very sad or gloomy. Now here you can see uh, an emoticon which is sad, sad and gloomy and that is crying. That is where you define desolate. The next vocabulary related to soul is solo, S-O-L-O -O, and solo means alone where you define solo it says a single performer. So here in this image you can see a guitarist who is single and nobody else is there and that is where he is giving solo performance. Like our Facebook page and don't forget to download our Radar 247 app from Play Store to be up to date. And for excellent expertise, you can also join various branches all over India. Thank you.